So the next thing that you can do is to is to do some setting in the grades of the student. So it's a grade book. It's a grades book. Okay. So this is optional, but if you do this, then we will make it easy for students to navigate their performance, okay, their marks of their assignment. So in the administration administration block, go to grades. So here you can see a list of students, the assignment, okay, and there are different view. So this is a grader report. You can go to the user report, which the performance, the mark of each of the student will be shown. So you can select any of the student, okay, to see the mark. Okay. So before that. I will suggest you go to the setting to set the category. So go to the symbol view. Okay. After that, you have all these items. So you can categorize them. So what you can do, you can add a category. Okay. Let's say I have six tutorial and one assignment. So all the tutorial, I want to put them together. So I can put Make a category, the name is tutorial. So the maximum grade is 30, all of them. And then just save change. Okay, so now you have the tutorial category. So what you can do, you can move each of each of these under this category. Just click on this icon and then move this. So this is the one they want to move. Move this after in the tutorial category. Okay, so you can do it, you can do this for the rest. Okay, so I have done this. So I want to make another one. Which is assignment. Just set change. Then I move the assignment under this category. And the assignment mark should be 10. Okay. So I can go to the category, change the category total to 10. Then save changes. So now, if you as you can see, now we have uh, we can actually unhide them, okay? Because this is a tutorial. So after we give the mark to the student, then the student should be able to to see the marks. And also at this point, after they enroll into the course, they really can see how many assignment tutorial that they have, and the carry mark for each of the tutorial and assignment. So it's good to do the setting at the beginning of the course. Okay. So the next thing I want to add is midterm. Okay. So the midterm will be the category. And unlike the assignment that we create in the smart UMS, which the, the carry mark for each of the assignment will automatically, uh, uploaded into this grade book. For the midterm, we need to create a category. Okay. And this is a, the category is, midterm exam okay so the category total so this the carry mark is 20 in this case and then save changes 
And now actually we have already have prepared our midterm questions. So we can create add a great item. Okay, it's a questions for each for your midterm. So let's say if your midterm have four questions, then we can add four great item, four questions, and then put the query mark for each of the item. Just click add great item. So let's say this is a question one. So the query mark is total is 20. So the query mark for this, this question is A. So I want to put this under this category, them, then click save. So I keep doing this. So I add another one. Add a great item. This is question 2, query mark 4, and then I put it under the category of victimism. The third question, just add another item. Question 3, put the query mark. Put it under the midterm exam, save. Then the last one, the last question. Just add great item. Question number four, the carry mark is three. And put it under the category of victim. Okay. So for victim, mark, I will also announce to students. So there's no, there's no need to hide them. So the last one, of course, is final exam. I will add a category. The name of the category is final exam. Okay, total the carry mark is 40. Okay, and I click save. Okay, I can add a great item just like what I did for the midterm. Okay, just follow this. Add one more, just for demonstration purpose. Okay, so before we save, Remember to hide the final because we should not release the final marks. But we want to make use of the system to manage all the assessment marks. So at the end of the semester, our job will be very easy as a lecturer just to download all the marks. Okay. So we can save all the changes. Okay. And after that, we can have a check, we can have a look, just go to the user report again. And this time you can see, this is how the student will see. Okay, they will not see the midterm. Even, and we already unhide all the tutorial, assignment, and questions. So when students go to their grade books, this is what they can see.